Hi guys, it's Haley Monique. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video because I will be showing you my YouTube filming set. I know that there are a lot of people who want to start YouTube channels and think that their YouTube set has to be magnificent and this awesome background and they need to buy this and that. I'm here to reassure you, you do not need to spend thousands of dollars on a YouTube set because I didn't and I spent probably under $200 getting all of this together. Everything that you see on set today is a combination of using what I already had and going to the store and picking up a couple of items um, to help add to my um, YouTube setup. I also have a simple and cute DIY project that you guys can add to your YouTube set. And of course, I'm going to add it to mine. So stay tuned for that. And let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys. So we are over here at my nightstand. Just wanted to talk to you guys about a term called grouping. Grouping is really important when you are trying to place decor into your background. So... As you can see, my decor is centered right now. And um, of course, naturally, that's what we do. We always want things to be centered. Because the thing that I noticed about my, um, when I was filming, so I would be sitting on my bed. I'd be sitting right here on my bed on this corner here. And then when I looked into my camera, I couldn't see my lamp. I couldn't see the lamp. I couldn't see the plant. I couldn't see this Inspire um, stand there. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to um, push it all the way over here. So it's in the, it's in the center now because I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not filming on my bed right now. But it, when you, if you went in my videos, um, my plant, my lamp, and my Inspire stand is always in the corner. So it's always pushed over here. So um, basically what I do is just push everything over so that you guys can see. And that's basically what grouping is. So there, that's what I do. I just push everything in the corner. And then when I'm done filming, I just move everything back to where it was because I don't like it like that. You know, if somebody were to come in my room, I, you know, I'm just going to put it back normally. So just make sure that if you do want um, your decor to be seen in your background, just make sure that, you know, they can see it and it's going with your whole theme, the vibe, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that is that. Okay, you guys, so next I wanted to talk about my bedspread. I got this bedspread from Home Goods for $60. The comforter, um, this pillow, this pillow, and that pillow, the white pillow back there, um, and the two sham pillows on either side and also the ones behind it. Um, those all came with the set and also the sheets came with the set as well so i got a fitted sheet and i got um the regular um sheet and i went and bought a um, bed skirt you can't see the bed skirt but i just wanted one just to go along with the whole white theme so next let's talk about these curtains so I wanted my curtains to be white so that they could match my bed set. So I put the curtains on this window and also this window. I want to add that um, when I'm filming, I have both windows open because you need to have the most lighting in your room. So I have these two curtains open and then I also um, have my ring light on and I also have that you can see that that lamp right there is on and then the lamp on the ceiling is on. So however much light you can get into your room um, plus um, the electric lighting, then great. Um, the more the better. Okay, you guys, so this is the next part of the room. So you guys know that this is where I recorded my first video. 
this side of the room i really wanted it to be like like so freaking cute because this is where i was going to be trying on clothes and like modeling so i just really went out like went all out for this side of the room like no no kidding so um i first wanted to start um talking about um the carpet so the carpet is one of the things that i am most proud of finding um to go over here because i was like i really want a fur carpet and you know fur carpets they are so expensive i actually went to home goods and i found um a, a fur carpet i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh and then i find out that it's 80 dollars, and i'm just like i'm trying to keep everything budget friendly because i knew i was going to be doing this video um and so i went into tj maxx or marshall's because you know those two stores are like literally the same thing they just have different names <laughs> but um it was either tj maxx or marshall's i was like wait a minute this is not a this is not a carpet it's actually a throw it's a throw you guys and you know a throw is what you throw like on your bed or like over the couch or over a chair you know so I'm just gonna like go up to it so you guys can actually like see that this is a throw. This is not a carpet. And I'm gonna show you. So it has this on the back of it. You know, carpets, they usually don't have this. So that's why I'm, you know, it's definitely a finesse. Like this is, this is a throw. And it's so, so, so cute. And it's soft. And it's like, it resembles a, a fur carpet. Mine was only $17. You can't beat that. 17 versus 80 which one are you going with okay <laughs> so yeah um so next let's talk about the um mirror there so thankfully um i already had this mirror in my room so i did not have to purchase a another mirror because these mirrors can be really expensive i think the highest i've ever seen them be um is like eight hundred dollars um lowest i've seen is probably like 300 so um i was glad i didn't have to come out of pocket for this um mirror here but um i love this mirror because um i'm a tall girl and so i really need like a tall mirror you know to like see how a, a, an outfit really looks on me like all the way around so this is actually a really great addition for modeling my clothes on um, when i have videos like that and it actually worked out great because um my lamp over there is gold and then um, the words in the canvas up there are gold as well. So um, they all like complement each other. And so, and I didn't even plan on that happening. I wasn't even thinking about that, but it just happened like that. Okay, so next let's talk about this canvas up here. So this canvas is, um, this canvas is from Goodwill. Um, I got this canvas for $10. Um, Goodwill is always a place, a good place to find canvases like this. Um, because they're like really cheap. <laughs> so I've seen some that were like $5. So if you're looking for a really good, um, canvas or like picture frames, um, or paintings, you can always go to Goodwill and pick out a really cute, um, canvas or painting or picture frame um and i just i just stuck them up here with um i forgot what these things are called but i just stuck it up here with uh these things i don't know if you can see that but they're like those um wall hangers um and they're they're the velcro ones and um i don't know how to pronounce what's on the my canvas but that's what's there and um yeah that is the canvas Next, we'll, we're going to talk about this plant here. So, um, the plant is is also from Goodwill. And um, I really wanted a faux plant over here um, because I did have a actual plant. And you saw that plant in my first video. And um, I had to keep on bringing it in and out of the house. And it was just getting to be too much. So, I went on a search for a um budget friendly um faux plant because faux plants are also um really expensive um to purchase and so um 
I actually got lucky and found this one in the Goodwill and, the, and it was $10 and I'm like, oh, this is for me. Um, God sent this down just for me. So I'm getting it. I'm not leaving it at the Goodwill. I just sat it on this little, um, this little base here. Um, and it has rollers on it. So if I want to move it, it's an easy move. That's about it for this plant. But stay tuned for the for the DIY. Okay. Hey, you guys. So next we have um, my dresser. Um, as you guys can see, I did a little bit of grouping here as well. I have my candle. I have my flowers here. And I also have the little love stand. And I just wanted something simple on this um, dresser over here. I want to add like some picture frames or something like that. Because it, it is, now that I'm looking at it, it does look a little... Um, too basic <laughs> but um there's always room um for additions um but um let's start with the candle so the candle is just like a clay candle it's like vanilla scented so you can get those anywhere um, um i haven't lit it yet because i actually don't like the scent of vanilla um but it was just really just here for decor um next is the the vase is something that my mom already had um, but you can get vases from anywhere. The flowers that you see here, I got those from a dollar store and they were, um, you could get like probably three of them for a dollar. Um, so I got those, I got these colors because it's, you know, it's still like summertime. And so I really wanted summer, spring, um, but I really wanted colors that were like summer and like spring. So that's what you see here um so those are the flowers are so so pretty even though they're fake they're pretty you know um and flowers are always a good addition for decor here is the love stand um this love stand is glass um it's painted gold um i don't remember how much this was um because i already had this like in my house as decor so i just added it so um but you can get these from Michaels. You can get it from Hobby Lobby, um, Home Goods, or like any like at home or anything like that. They will have like really cute um, stands like this. So that is the dresser, you guys. Okay. So the next couple of things that you need to have um, to film is your tripod. So this tripod, I got this from Amazon. I don't remember how much it is, but I will definitely link everything um, in the description box so that you guys can go and purchase these items yourself. But um, this is a tripod that I use um, to uh, stand my camera up. I don't really use this one as much because I actually um, use my ring light. My ring light has an attachable phone mount on it. So um, I don't use this one. And um, this one has a mount on it as well. So you can put your camera on here. Um, you can put a detachable um, phone um, mount on here as well. And it'll just screw right on this. But I don't use this um, often. So... It depends on on you and what your preference is, but I just personally do not um, use this as much as I use my um, ring light tripod. But of course, this one comes in handy because um, I actually use it for this video to show you guys the half view <laughs> of my room. I had to take this and like twist it like this. So that helps for this. So you have to have multiple um, tools to help you with different things for your video um so that is that tripod okay so next is my ring light um this ring light cost me a hundred dollars plus tax <laughs> but um this was my greatest investment this is how um i get the best lighting on set um like i said it has a phone mount so i this is on um, what my phone goes in between here and um i twist it up here so that my um, phone can stay in place while i'm filming it goes up and down like this um so that i can adjust the camera as i'm filming 
and um I can also remove it. It didn't come with the um with the ring light. The ring light was separate and the um was separate from the from this phone mount here. Um these um white um pieces, plastic pieces here that you see, these um can come off. So if you feel like you're not getting enough light like this is cuz it it ca it basically captures the light um so that you like you're not going blind basically so um these can come off and i'll show you they come off and they um they clip back on so this is what um these pieces look like and um that see there's more light there okay so i got it back on thankfully because that was getting on my nerves <laughs> but um you can adjust this just like you can a tripod um so if you adjust it here then this this um the ring light will be able to um adjust up and down so let me show you guys that okay you guys so i'm going to show you how you can adjust this um ring light um there's a knob here on the side so there's one at the top and there's one to the lower bottom but i'm going to be using this one at the top um like i said before um it's not moving like this should be able to um move up and down um but this is the knob that allows you to do that so you just really make sure you're holding this because it will just like fall down so make sure you're holding it and um you just adjust the knob to the left if you hear clicks it will um go up and down so i'm just gonna twist it back so that it um tightens so that's that <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can tell, I'm not holding my phone. I am not using either of these tripods. I guess you guys are wondering, like, what am I using? Girl, you got three tripods. Yes, I actually do have three tripods. So the one that I'm using, I think it goes by like Jojoba on Amazon. That's the name of it. And um, I needed that um, tripod because sometimes you want to get like different angles so sometimes you cannot have like a really tall tripod so um dang motorcycle <laughs> but yeah and so i'm going to show you guys um the tripod um that i'm using right now um to film this angle okay you guys so this is the tripod that i was just using in that last angle that you saw so this is the jojoba um tripod don't quote me on that i will link everything below and it'll have the correct terms and, and names for it um but um yeah this is the tripod so it can lay flat like this and i really like this tripod because it's very versatile and you can use it multiple ways so it can stand up like this um it can stand up um more straighter um i'm just using one hand right now but um, it's just very versatile. Like it can stand up like this. It um, it can lay flat like I had it there. Um, so if you want it to get under something, if you want it to stand um, low, if you want it to stand high, you have so much range with this um, with this tripod. Um, if you wanted it to just stand on two feet and then just kind of sit it up on something like this candle here, like you, whatever kind of angle you are trying to get, like this is, it's going to get your angle. Um, the only reason why I don't use this for, um, like when I'm sitting on my bed, um, when I'm doing my intro is because it's too short and the higher tri tripod just, um, it just works out better. Um, this phone mount is um did not come with this tripod i didn't want you guys to think that um but this one i'll link down below as well um but it does have a screw here so that you can screw it on top of here um and then you it also has a screw on right here and you can screw it right there um but and it also extends out i didn't want you guys to think that it did not but it does extend and it, it extends further than than what i'm extending it to um but that is the phone mount and and just have like one other tripod so at least do have at least two tripods because you're going to need some versatility um so 
that is this tripod okay Okay, you guys, so this is um, the brand that I was talking about, the Newer or the Newer, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is where I um, got my um, ring light on Amazon. This is the company. The ring light, it comes with these little attachments over here. Once I figure out um, um, what type of video is best with that type of lighting because it's supposed to alter the your your lighting of your video so when i figure that out um i might use them but i'm good with the um the ones that i showed you before i personally do not like to stand up my ring light um every time i need to film so i just leave my ring light up um but this um bag is um pretty good um if you need to transport your um your ring light it has padding in here um it comes with instructions i'll tell you how to put your ring light um together but um it has padding in here um let me unzip it so you can see it has padding in there i didn't take it out um but yeah and there's like one little um divider in here and there's another zipper on this side where some more padding is um so just wanted to show you guys that so you can know what your ring light will come in and look like okay you guys so um i just wanted to add one more thing that i use um and this is a um clicker these do not cost much and i think it actually came with um with something that I purchased. I don't remember. Maybe I purchased it separately. Um, well, actually, my, my ring light, it did come with a clicker, but I already had one, which was this one. So, um, but yeah, I used this to take my photos. So, in my last video, my thumbnail, I was holding up the Pretty Little Things bag. And I had this in my hand, and I was just clicking away. You won't um, have really good pictures um, if you don't have a clicker. Um, it just comes in handy so that you don't you don't have to put on a timer or any of that type of stuff but yeah i use this and it's like the best thing ever because it there's a button on here for um ios which is iphone and then android um so um there's that ios button so that's for me and then these are for androids and it doesn't take long to connect it to your phone it takes probably like 30 seconds <laughs> so this is pretty amazing um for taking photos um of course i'm filming with my phone so i cannot show you guys um my actual physical form um form my actual physical phone but this is um what my phone looks like it is the iphone 11 it films really really great it has a really good quality camera I have never tried to film a video with my um, Android because I have had an Android before. So I'm not really sure. I can't really attest to how that camera um, works for YouTubers. Um, but they do have a really good camera. So um, to each his own with what type of camera you decide to um, film with. Um, the cameras can be 600 to a thousand dollars more than that sometimes lesser than that sometimes so whatever is in your budget you know go ahead and purchase your um camera but um if you do already have an iphone and it's like a 9 a 10 11 um probably even an 8 that's probably all you need to film um so like i said i have an 11 it works great for me and um yeah okay you guys it's diy time so i got these lights from target they were ten dollars and these are the extra long um led string lights so i'm showing you guys here that the that these string lights take three batteries um i went ahead and put the batteries in because i wanted to see if they were faulty or not because I didn't want to go ahead and put the lights on the plant and they um, not work so always check before you begin putting your lights onto your full plant okay so here I'm just showing you that I had the lights turned on and they worked so I'm taking the end of the string lights and I opened up 
the plant so that you guys could see that I am making three knots to secure it in place and now I have closed the plant and I'm just making my way up the plant um so I'm starting at the bottom and I'm making sure that I put the string lights um deep into the plant but not so much to where the lights are not seen because um these are small lights so you don't want it to be um completely covered Okay, so at this point, I have made my way to the top and then I'm going to bring the lights down and begin to fill in the middle of the plant. So I'm taking this battery pack and I'm going to begin to loop it through um, the stems or the branch part. And um, as you can see, it's a lot of wire. So what I had to do was ball it all up in my hand but that doesn't mean to, to get it tangled but um just ball it all up in my hand and um push it through just like i'm doing here and i just did that until i got to the bottom of the plant Okay, so I finally got to the bottom of the plant and this was like the hardest part because the plant got really sparse down here with leaves and branches and loops and stuff. But I figured it out and I'm making my way back up to the top and I'm looping it through just so that I have just enough to finish out at the top. So I'm just showing you guys that I have the battery pack and I'm going to be putting it um, or securing it um, on the branch at the top so I just put it right back through one more time um, to get rid of some of that string and now I'm just opening up the plant so you guys can see where I'm putting it and I'm just going to be looping the battery pack around um, about three times um, just to secure it so that it doesn't move um, and there it is just closing that back up and we're done okay you guys so as you can see I put the plant back in the corner over there it looks so good like oh my gosh so, instead of it being some boring old plant sitting in the corner you know I decided to add some lights to it so it looks so amazing and I'm glad that I added the lights to it because I really thought that it wasn't going to work out because as I was putting on the lights I was like hmm is the light in my room and from the windows and my ring light is it going to overpower these little tiny lights so that was something that i had to think about but i was glad that it did not and i am so excited that this diy project was 100 percent a success okay guys so that was all for this video i really hope you enjoyed getting a look at my filming set and um if you have any questions comments or concerns please do not hesitate to put them below if you guys would like a video on how i create my thumbnails how i created my youtube intro and outro or how i created my youtube channel art please let me know in the comments below as well but until next time that is all and i will see you guys in my next video bye because i always think of you when i'm getting right